what do I know about our current water contract? Is the contract was put in place in April of 2004, I believe it was, and it was kind of negotiated as, as the growth was really starting to pick up at that time, and the, the current council at that time, I think, was looking for long-term solutions to water uh, issues. So they got out, went out, and negotiated this contract for a 50-year deal. And so it's you know it's been around for about 14 years now. It was just the growth kind of in 2008 to the turn and slowed down a lot. So the growth slowed, but the water contract is continuing to to make increases and things with us. So. We anticipated growth to grow a lot faster, and then there was a slowdown. And when that slowdown took place, everything stopped coming to huddle, and we no longer needed as much water as we were contracted for. Do I feel that our water bill is higher than the surrounding areas? Absolutely, I do. In some cases, our water bills are more than double than some of our surrounding cities. Uh, that water sat in the aquifer. We didn't use it. We didn't waste it. Um, there have been many conversations over the years about what should we do with that water? Can we fill up a lake with it? What? And it really came down to how do we manage this resource? The choice was to leave it in the ground, leave it there, and not waste the water. Purchasing the contract and the equipment is important to the city of Hutto is because it's, it's, it's a huge win for the citizens, not only just stabilizing the rates now, but for the future. And as we grow, we have control of our water rates and our water usage. So, you know, essentially every year, um, you either stayed at the same per gallon usage that you were at, or it went up based on the contract. Sometimes, like with us, uh, August 1st would have triggered 3 million gallons a day. So we went from 2 million gallons to 3 million gallons. At 2 million gallons, we were paying 391 per thousand gallons. At, two million, at 3 million gallons, we were going to 317, I believe. So lower rate, but more gallons. So we would again been paying. So now we would have been at a point where we would have been paying, say, for 2 million gallons that we weren't using. Now we get to manage our water use. We get to control when we need water. We get to decide what we want to do with that water in regards to development. Uh, new business is coming in. Um, it shows a uh, strength with us when people are looking at, do I want to come to Huddle? Do I want to bring my business to Huddle? Well, are they in control of their water? If we're not in control of our water, they may not want to come to Huddle. With us being in control of our water, we're able to draw on the kind of businesses that may use water and be in a position where we know what we have. If I can tell the citizens one thing about the negotiation of this purchase in this water contract is that change is coming. You know, we, we are all on board. We are citizens of this community. We pay these high water bills. And I would tell them that, you know, to look forward to great things with this purchase is. As we move forward and grow, we'll be able to reduce the rates at some point. And I think that's a win for everybody in the community that's currently here and the future growth. So yes, you don't see anything happening today, um, but there is a point where we'll start seeing lower water rates and the market is gonna go up while we have the ability to stay flat line. I would also say that over the life of the contract, we're gonna save the citizens anywhere from 160 to 200, 200 million dollars. We will see it in the future, and when we think about what our kids are going to have to pay and our grandkids, it's going to be a much better situation for them uh, tomorrow than what it is today.